Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 10 of the Robin Hood Let's Play series. I'm your host Strat and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. So in the last episode we had a heck of a run. We picked up lots of uh, bandits, we swelled our ranks, we are almost capped out, we're 10 away, we're very close to clan tier 2, 2 renown away, and then that'll give us another 15. And we did defeat our first enemy lord in battle and we ransomed him off for I believe about 3400. So now we are basically just going to roam the countryside looking for easy targets. We've got a decent amount of dinars but we do need to be careful because it can run out quite quickly and we need to continue picking up materials for smithing and we would like to find somebody that can be our smithing companion because we just can't convert the materials by ourselves because we took Curious Smelter and Curious Smith to make sure it doesn't take us the whole game just to unlock the parts. Yeah, it's just like a turkey shoot. taking any prisoners that we're not planning on converting. It's just going to slow us down. We'll be getting into quite a few battles here, so... And we don't care to have you in our party. We will take your gear. There's a six stack we could auto-resolve, save us a little bit of time, and they're going to go the wrong way. We could take a fight with some of these bandits, uh, the mountain bandits. That'll help us maybe get some cavalry interesting idea. I think we're going to pass them. It doesn't really help us as much as it seems that it would. However, having some backup here would be nice. So let's add a few people to our shield wall reserves. Good hits there. Somebody just got done. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, they're running already. Okay, well, I think the archers will do a pretty good job here. And hopefully, I can get an extra little hit here. Okay, well, we did pick up a tier 3. So that's nice. And there's only 3 left. A little bit of upgrade on the helmet as well. Now hopefully they just give up, because we are 10x them. They do not give up, so let's just send. We got one injury, picked up two on the prisoner, so that's very good. Lots of stuff to smelt down to. Yeah, I'm glad we decided to go on a little trip around the world. Ooh, here we go. Hopefully somebody jumps in to help him. Yeah, get in there. Get in there, 10 stack. Oh, and he's still got 58. Does he have... Oh, he has a lot of recruits. He has a lot of recruits. This is what Robin Hood's all about. Look at that. This is going to be a scrap. An absolute scrap. Oh, he thinks he's got... No, actually, I think you're the one that should surrender, my friend. We're a little bit outnumbered, but we have equal ranged, a little bit less infantry, but a lot of his infantry does not have any shield. They're they're gonna flee. They're gonna flee pretty early on in the battle. So let's look for some good defensive terrain. And he does have cavalry coming, so we have to be careful not to get uh, trampled by that too easily. Let's put our archers up here on the hill. Spread them out so they can each fire. Let's get our shield up in the front so they can take the brunt. 
Oh, they're there. Okay. So I don't know if you can see them. Just way off in the distance. Here they come. Yep, they're coming straight at us. Let's get our archer spread out a little bit better than this. Let's stay on the high ground. Let's get our our shield wall up a little farther. Actually, they're not. They're just gonna run straight at us. So let's get as many shots in as we can. So what we're gonna do is a staggered retreat. We want to get as many of their archers back up. That's my biggest concern was the cavalry. All right, they're running. Don't don't chase, don't chase. We gotta stay together, guys. Oh, there's there's the enemy lord. Get him, get him off his horse. Maybe I can dismount him with the arrow. Shot him in the back. taking massive fire. We gotta be careful here. Our, our front line just retreated. Alright, I'm gonna go in and engage these manually. Alright, archers, go ahead and push in. Oh, they're retreating. I think we won this. We did, yeah. That's it. Holy cow, that was close. I thought we lost that. Let's see if we can run this guy down. We don't want to let anybody live. Oh, right in the heavies. Okay, what's the damage here, though? That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, that's painful. We lost three of our best. So we lost six, but we killed a lot. Yeah, we killed more than double, and we took we took Thoman captive. Eight renown. Yeah, congratulations. Well, you may not have your head for much longer. And look at that! I didn't realize he had that many. I mean, I know he had some in his ranks. I didn't realize he had that many. So that's just, I mean, we lost six and we just gained 13. So we netted out an extra, was that seven? Okay, a little bit of upgrades here. We do need to spend some time leveling the Sea Raiders up, but we can definitely do that in time. Okay, these archers are maxed out. Let's get them. So we got a bunch of free booters now. It's just going to get easier from here. Now, prisoner-wise, we could just take what we can and go back and sell. Because look at all these. These are high level. I mean, look at that. That's a tier 6. Then we got some more for our shield wall. So for sure, we're going to take all the tier 5 and tier 6s. Let's take the tier 4s. we still got some room. I think we'll take the tier 3 and we're going to leave everything else because these are very low low level. They're not going to give us much money. This will slow us down some. And what kind of loot are we looking at? So let's get rid of all the stuff that we can't use. Okay, everything else is civilian. So same armor, but it's a little bit lighter, so we'll switch those out. That's a good upgrade. Got like a tube sock on her head now. A little bit better hood, so we, now we look like Robin Hood, except for this little tube sock football helmet. Okay, a little bit of harness. Doesn't matter because we don't really go into combat with our, our mount anyways, but got to look stylish. And everything else is just going to be rubbish. But we did pick up a lot of food too but we're not overweight. Now here's the thing. 
I would love to sell this guy, but we may not even get the chance, because if we want to sell him, we'd have to bring him all the way back there. And if we keep him, we run the risk of him just escaping. So now we, you know, took that battle for basically nothing. So now we run... Right, we have to really figure out what we're going to do here. Let's see if he's got anything interesting to say. You're shaking your head, huh? No, he doesn't want to talk. Do we execute him? That's the question. He's high level. Level 26. And he is... Quite handsome. Average wealth. He's not the leader. So he won't bring quite as much as somebody else. Yeah, we can't. We can't let somebody good looking like that live. He's going to get the kibosh. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. See you. And so it is. Our first execution. And we are now devious. Yes, we lack honor. Who needs honor? It only gets you killed in the long run. Alright, now we're getting to some dangerous territory though, because we are a little slow. If we have to, we can release prisoners, so we don't have to keep them if we need to outrun somebody, so let's just... I would, let's just keep going. I would like to raid if we can, but this is not really a good spot because there's so many... Oh, ha ha ha. On three. You've got seven cav. And you've got 18 recruits. You are not in a good spot. Hopefully he doesn't make it to the town. He's That's close. He's going to make it. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Let's... And he picked up some more. But it's it's going to be recruits. Yeah, 25 recruits. I'm okay with it. Nope, he's going to make it back again. we got to let him get out a little further. There he goes. Now, if we take the fight in the woods, we'll for sure catch him. And we're way above power level. You have served. But uh, he hates my guts. Look at that. Minus 62. Look at that scowl. Well, you are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, I don't think they're going to push into us this time, so we may need to go get them, but let's take... I hear cavalry. Let's take a second just to set up in case they come at us. No, nope, they're, they're running for the hills. Yeah. So we can we can push up quite safely. We could take the hills. They're going for the hills. We could flank them on the hills. That will pretty much negate their cavalry because cavalry is very bad on the hills. It, it, it they don't really move, move well, move. and it also messes up their their aim to some degree. And it also gives us some cover. So this hill is going to give us a nice bit of cover. Look at this. This hill is steep. Alright, there's something coming our way. Let's get into position. Yeah, it's interesting because normally you just press Alt and then you know exactly where they're at, but now we gotta use all our senses to make sure we're staying in the, in the best position. It adds a lot of fun, actually. I, I enjoy this. I kind of wish they had this as a mode where they just turned everything off. You don't have to keep messing with the UI. All right, let's scout. Let's scout ahead so we don't position our army poorly. All right, they're gonna fire at us. Okay, now they're gonna push in. Let's get everybody ready. We're gonna put our archers a little higher up and put some distance. Oh, Epic wrong one. Square for archers. Archers. Back here, that's what I meant to do. Forward. 
No! Just leave him on the elevated. Infantry! And then square formation for for our infantry. Footmen! Forward! I think they backed off. They looked like they were gonna charge us. No, they did not. Oh he look at he wants some. He definitely wants a piece. Come and get it. Nope, he went back. Okay, so let's push the action here then. Let's make sure we have... Where are they Here we go. Let's make sure we have our shield wall taking the brunt. They're going to be the closest. We don't want them to get shot at just yet. So we'll keep them a little behind the ridge. Let's position our infantry way up in the hills. This is just textbook ambush. This is what bandits would have done, 100%. Come out of the woodwork, stay out of sight, and then you just come down on them with everything. I'm going to put them in line formation because now I can get a tighter formation. Wait, what's going on here? Soldiers! Bowman! Alright, yeah, I can get a nice single file right on this ridge. Look at this ridge. Alright. Bowman! And unfortunately, that's the edge of the map, but that's okay. Let's just. Archer! Forward! Ooh, that's a lot of fire. Archer! Forward! Okay, we gotta figure out where we can put our archers so they'll actually get some shots off. Can they do it right here? Because they do, they do have some crossbows, so it's not like this is a guaranteed cakewalk. What are they doing? They realize they were out of position, so they relocate. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen the AI do that too much. Okay, we're taking fire from something. Yeah, we are taking fire. That's not good. Infantry! Make a shield wall! Infantry! Forward! Forward! Archers! Alright, there we go. Loose formation! Rain arrows. Forward! I can't see him through the trees, but I think maybe Look we'll back. come down in this little ravine. Move. Are they still shooting? No, nope, they stopped. Okay, they're, they're right there. We do have to be careful. Coming after us? Yep, they are. Okay. This is good. This is really good. We're gonna have our archers shooting at him. Pick him off the hills. Don't let him reach our line. Peasants. They're a bunch of peasants. These are land in Leave my guy alone. Alright, what about their... What about their crossbowmen? Oh, they're... They were smart. They sent their cab to attack my archers. We probably lost an archer. And there's... Okay, there goes their... There goes their commander. That's it. We made them come to us. We had the height advantage. There's anything else for us to kill. I think we got almost everything. Which damage is three. But these are the, the low levels. So if we're gonna lose anybody, I'd rather lose them. A lot of renown. A couple injuries. A lot of levels. There's a lot of levels here. That's very nice. 
and they only had six people escape. Some crossbow men and some recruits. Oh, who got all the kills? So it's pretty evenly distributed, actually. Our front line did very well. I'm very happy with their performance. And we picked up a little bit of levels. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. So we have room for everybody, if we want. I think we're in a position where we're not too far away from where we want to go. Ooh, that is a nice sword. That'll smell down nicely. Okay, let's get rid of anything that we can't normally use in civilian, just so we don't accidentally equip it again. And let's see if there's any upgrades here, because there's some nice stuff here. This is a, just a touch lighter, and the color's darker, so we'll blend in a little more camouflage. Actually, I don't know if they had camouflage back then. Maybe they did for like a hunter, but definitely not for military because they did not care. They just lined up and went at it for the most part. Okay, we don't want to get captured there. There's two big groups guarding that uh, bridge. So let's see if they move away. Actually, he may not even go after us. Let's see. Okay, there you go. He's got quite a bit of cavalry, so he would definitely engage. Alright, maybe we can sneak by and go across. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. We can... No, it's just going to be one troop. That's not even worth it. That's fine. I was going to see if we could sneak in there and maybe yoink a, uh, a noble, but... Okay, this guy's chasing us. We don't want to go in the town because he is on our tail. If we go in the town, he's just going to wait for us to pop out. You know what? We need to lighten our load. Some of these guys we can get rid of. They're not going to give us a whole lot. This is what they're after. That's what they're chasing me over. I don't know. Maybe we can get to town. Yeah, let's just let's just dump. Dump everything and get out of here. Alright, what's he worth? What are you worth on three? You are worth twenty four hundred. Not the most, but it's it's, uh, I think it's still passable. If you were a little bit less, you would be uh, missing some body parts. But we'll let you live for now. And let's go ahead and ransom all these guys that we can't take normally anyways. Let's just double check, make sure we didn't accidentally put anybody. We did not. 3,700. That'll put us over 15. And we still have to get rid of some stuff. So let's... We already checked armor. So we're going to be rolling in the dough. Now, shield-wise, this has more hit points. It's heavier. It does cover more, too. So I think we're going to swap. I, I like the look of that, that teardrop. And hopefully in the very near future, we can just dump the shield all together, because I, I don't like using the shield. But, you know, for now, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. He's just going to chase me till the end of days. I didn't even raid any of their villages, so I don't know what they're so pissed off about. And this is interesting. We can help him because we're, we're, we're not... Uh, we're neutral towards him, so we could fight this. Or we could let him die, and then we could fight him because he'll be weakened. And the arm traders are their uh, archers, so they're mostly archers with a decent amount of cav. Yeah, he's gonna get chewed up. I don't know why he's fighting that. I think he's gonna he's gonna lose that pretty handily. Let's help him out. And by help out, I mean let's let them go first, lose all their troops, and then we will come in to clean up. I think that's a good plan.
Oh, he's got some decent cap though. Forward! Move, move! Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll brighten this in my editing so we can actually see, but i just tell you right now, I can't see squat. It is dark. And just a little bit foggy. Just missed a headshot. Infantry move! Archer move! Alright, my men de uh, dehorsed him. Infantry! That was a big help. Move! 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 Alright, let's get caught up so we can actually use them as a meat shield if we're too far back. Oh, actually, I think they might have already lost their troops. Let's get our archers in front so they can skirmish a little bit. And we'll sling some arrows downrange as well. Oh, this is not good. Oh, man. He just missed me. at least. And I think we're going to move up with our shield wall. We need to engage their archers. Yeah, they're getting slammed by our, by our ranged. Let's engage these guys so they're not shooting at us. Oh, just barely missed him. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. Very nice. Two. Let's, can we go for three? We can go for four. Oh, I just missed him. Okay, that was a hit. And he's down. Wow, that was a cool shot. Alright, I felt really good about that. Hopefully we didn't lose too much. We lost three. And this guy died in battle, so... Yeah, if we didn't help him, he would have been toast. They got one guy left. So we did him a favor. We got a few few wounded. I'm a little sad about the Sea Raider Chiefs, but uh, it's, it's not the end of the world. And yeah, we only got 34% of the loot. Did we not? Yeah, I guess we didn't kill that many compared to him. But, you know, he sacrificed most everything for it. Now, we should be able to get some decent loot here. Wait, where's our loot? How come we got no loot from that? Uh, I am a little confused. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess we're going back in. Yeah, that's strange. I don't know why... Put me put Archer! Loose for me! Kill them all! I'm not really sure why we didn't get any uh, loot from that. Uh, not the end of the world. Let's just Move. keep getting kills. Move. Alright, let's get our archers on the side. We can rain some arrows from the side as well. They have cavalry left still. Let's, let's go square. Alright, hit that guy once. If we can get another shot on him, it might be fatal. Nope. I think they're running though. Alright, they're running now too because I think our archers picked one off. Can we get a shot here? This would be an incredible shot. Oh, just missed him. No, that was too. I let him too much. Oh! Does 
Does it tell me if I hit? I think I might have hit the enemy, or sorry, friendly horse. It sounded like I hit a horse. But if I hit him, that, no, I didn't get a kill. Okay, so I hit the horse. That would have been pretty crazy. Okay, so we lost nobody. We got two kills. A little more of the loot. They got a few people escaped, so we can re-engage. And that'll help us take more of their stuff. Uh, these are worth quite a bit, so let's take those. And since we're close by, I think we're just going to take everything. Now, let's just upgrade everything. I don't want to take a chance that we lose those guys again. And these are fully upgraded. Let's just go all out. So we're at 300 now. That's a very expensive army, but it's very potent. We got 24 bandits. These are actually quite comparable to Theon's. Uh, not, the, not the champions. Um, some decent loot in here too, actually. Okay, uh, that's not what I meant, actually. Here we go. So we get a little bit, a little bit better on the boots, and it's all boots all the way down, all boots. Okay, what else we got? More sumpter horses. We got a lot of loot. Oh, I didn't. I didn't take it, did I? I accidentally hit the wrong button. Yeah, we're just gonna have to attack him again. We can use the tree to dodge if we get charged. We actually got a hit there. I was not expecting to get a hit, but you know, you gotta just throw them sometimes. Oh, we got another hit. Oh, we are just barely dodging these javelins. This is pretty dangerous. Hopefully he's just injured though. Yeah, we did lose. Man, we lost a force bandit. That hurts. But I think it'll be worth it when we see the loot we get. Yeah, a lot of good prisoners. Those are worth quite a bit. And as far as loot goes, there's quite a bit in here. Most of it is stuff that we should have taken last time, but we didn't because... Uh, <laughs> If you haven't noticed the theme in any of my playthroughs, uh, I am a bit of an idiot at times, so. Alright, we're gonna take their money. We'll let them live. Yeah, if we re engage. We can't take them again. We probably should have just taken them out, but. I think we just wanna get back to town, sell some stuff, and kind of regroup. Had a little hectic exchange there. Okay, we don't have any upgrades. This shield is probably better, just barely. But the problem is it's way heavier, and I don't think it's worth it. So we're going to keep the one we have. We do have quite a few things to smith. So let's go ahead. Let's just buy out all the hardwood. We can sell it back, whatever it is we don't use. And we'll take the, we'll take the levels. So let's just crazy. I'm going to rest up and take care of this. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we rested for a bit, smelted everything. I did forget to get rid of our prisoners, so we'll do that now. Which ones we can't... Oh, we can keep the mercenary. Remember, we can take all of those, so we'll keep him. Sturgeon, Sturgeons and the Batanians we cannot keep. Oh, actually, the armed trader we can, because that is... That's a mercenary as well. So we can do that if we want. I think we will. Yeah, I, I don't think we want to get rid of anything that we can recruit. That's just, uh, that's free. Okay, Batanian Pony. Let's get rid of the Step Horse because it is worth quite a bit. It's worth about two of the ponies that we normally have. The Flax, let's just dump. Iron Ore, we could smelt it down. That's fine. 
tools. Normally I would keep that for missions, but we're not doing missions. Linen is good. These are all worth quite a bit. Oh, look at that. That's worth a lot. And then the sheep. Or the cow. I think we're just going to sell them. We could keep the sheep in case our men need some companionship, but I think we're going to avoid that for now. Let's see here. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good place. Let's take one last look here. Now we've got quite a bit of materials. Look at this. That's very nice. We can make some, some decent weapons. Still don't have throwing axe. That's fine. You don't get much XP for those anyways. Everything else is kind of garbage. Yeah, and it may be time to get back to back to work with our two-handed. Although I would like to get something better than a tier 2 blade, so I think we'll just keep it the way it is. Okay, we do want to recruit all of these eventually. Uh, we're not in a super big rush to do it right now, so... Let's just, uh, let's go to the next town. I want to keep trying to grow our, our little money pot. I think our goal was 50k. We want to really get it up to about 50k if we can. Or maybe it was 100. I think it might have actually been 100. Now, cheap horses, we'll always take that. Let's get rid of the mule. I like to keep our inventory nice and clean. We can pick up a sumter horse to replace him. That's fine. Uh, we did forget to check. Do we have any good smithing orders? We do not. And is there any good companions? This guy could be good. He, he might be a low level, so let's check him out. Red's probably too high a level. I'm looking for people that are most likely going to have very low stats on everything so that we can kind of build them up the way we want. We just want we want people that we can put points into like smithing. Oh and I didn't realize we gained some levels so we'll put that in just a sec. Let's take a look. Yeah again 10 vigor. This is unusual. I mean very good fighters but we don't want to pay for that. So let's us. We didn't check the second person. So row, again, not very good with endurance. Does have a point, but it, one endurance is going to really... Uh, that's that's not what I want, so let's go ahead and get rid of those two. I think we need to go here. So Denos and row. Alright, who else? Iona, we may have talked to her before. No, we did not. Okay, let's see if she's any good. Yeah, most of these are going to be pretty high level. Now, we could pick up somebody permanently for our party that's got maybe some steward skills or medicine. We're not going to need engineering. We're only going to be doing one siege at the very end uh, when we try and take back Gersegos, but I think we could pick up somebody that's good. I think Stuart's a little bit more important than medicine for now, but we do need to get somebody for both. So let's keep that in the front of our mind, and let's put our points where they need to go. We're getting one control from our endurance line. We're getting two from there, so we can... We could put it wherever we want. I think maybe... I think... I don't really want to put it into Vigor, because we only have one skill there. We could do another into Endurance, or we could do another into Cunning. And I, I don't really mind putting it into Cunning, because our roguery is going to be very slow. So let's do that. Let's not lock ourselves quite yet on two-handed. And then we do need another point into bow at some point soon. And then I think the rest is just going to get funneled into our cunning. Okay, so 
Everything here we're gonna keep, that's fine. We're, we're in very good shape. Yeah, I already checked that, so... I would like to put a little bit more money in our pocket, so let's check a couple more towns. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I want to thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you like content like this. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and I would be forever grateful. I'm your host, Strat, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.